Something huge is happening on China's coast. Instead of desert launch pads, China is now launching rockets straight from the sea and doing it faster than anyone expected. So, why is China now launching so many rockets from the sea? And could this be smarter than how SpaceX or even NASA does it? The answer lies in one company, CAS Space, a private spin-off from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, preparing a new rocket, new launch system, and even plans for space tourism. China's commercial rocket scene has exploded in recent years, but CAS Space's Kinetica, too, might just change the game. It's the company's first liquid propellant orbital rocket, powered by kerosene and liquid oxygen, marking a major leap beyond its earlier solid fuel Kinetica 1. Kinetica 2 isn't just another launcher. It's a full-scale declaration that China's private sector wants reusability and payload power like the Falcon 9. With three powerful first-stage cores, the rocket can lift 12 tons to low Earth orbit or 7.8 tons to sun-synchronous orbit, numbers that put it squarely in the same performance class as many Western launchers. But what really makes this mission different is its cargo, a prototype spacecraft named Qingzhou, built to serve China's Tiangong space station with affordable cargo runs. It's the first step toward a low-cost resupply system requested by China's Human Spaceflight Agency, a direct move to cut costs and expand commercial participation in national missions. The Kinetica 2 has already completed all major hot-fire tests, with its first launch expected soon from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. Once cleared, likely after the upcoming Shenzhou 21 crew mission, CAS Space will attempt a fully orbital flight, marking its biggest milestone yet. For context, SpaceX took nearly a decade to move from Falcon 1 to Falcon 9 reusability. CAS Space? It's doing it in half the time, fueled by competitive pressure and intense government-backed innovation grants. That speed is exactly why China is shifting focus to new launch sites, including the sea. By mastering reusability and integrating orbital cargo systems, CAS Space is proving it's not just chasing SpaceX. It's engineering a uniquely Chinese version of cost-efficient orbital logistics. And that leads directly to the question driving the next frontier. Why move these launches to the ocean in the first place? Here's the headline everyone's talking about. China is taking its rocket launches to the sea. In 2025 alone, CAS Space announced plans for six Kinetica 1 launches from the East China Sea, using mobile sea platforms operated from the Eastern Maritime Spaceport in Shandong Province. Why go to sea when land launch sites already exist? Because the ocean offers freedom. At sea, China avoids congested inland airspace and can launch in any orbital direction improving both safety and efficiency. Sea launches also mean less debris risk, shorter turnaround times, and lower cost per mission, advantages that even SpaceX and NASA are studying closely. This strategy isn't entirely new. China tested it with long March 11th back in 2019, but CAS Space is the first private firm to scale it commercially. Many of its engineers actually worked on that early sea launch program, so the expertise is already in-house. Each launch will occur from a massive, ship-based platform capable of handling solid or liquid rockets. Unlike traditional fixed launch pads, these platforms can move closer to the equator, giving rockets a natural speed boost from Earth's rotation, making every launch cheaper and more powerful. And there's a geopolitical layer too, with mega-constellations of satellites planned for communication and Earth observation networks. China needs the ability to launch dozens of rockets every year. Land facilities alone can't sustain that rate. Sea launches solve the congestion problem, turning China's coastline into an expanding orbital highway. In other words, the sea has become China's version of SpaceX's drone ship revolution, but taken to national scale. Instead of recovering boosters at sea, China is launching entire missions from it. So when you hear that CAS Space is preparing multiple maritime missions, remember, this isn't just about convenience. It's about mastering orbital logistics and creating a flexible, reusable system that could rival the efficiency of NASA's Cape Canaveral or SpaceX's Starbase. And yet, CAS Space isn't stopping there. It's already setting sights on something that could open space to civilians. 
While Connecticut 2 grabs headlines, another CAS space project is quietly preparing for liftoff, space tourism. Yes, you heard that right. This same company that's launching orbital rockets from the sea is also building a suborbital tourism vehicle, the Li Hong 2. Li Hong 2 will use a powerful solid booster to lift a crew capsule briefly into space, giving passengers a few minutes of microgravity before returning safely to Earth. Think of it as China's answer to Blue Origin's New Shepard, but with ambitions for larger cabins, longer flight profiles, and lower ticket prices. The company's Kinecore engine for Li Hong 2 was successfully tested in June 2025, and the first crew capsule test flight is scheduled for late 2025. If all goes well, commercial flights could start by 2028, offering a new gateway for civilians to experience space. But this isn't just tourism for spectacle's sake. Each test flight will also carry microgravity experiments for universities and startups, helping China's scientific community gain hands-on access to suborbital research. By combining human spaceflight and scientific testing, CAS Space is turning its capsules into flying laboratories, making every mission a blend of research and experience. What's fascinating is how this project connects back to CAS Space's broader strategy. Imagine a sea-launched suborbital rocket taking off from mobile platforms, no fixed pads, no noise near cities, and maximum safety. This flexibility makes CAS Space's approach not just efficient, but expandable, capable of serving both research and recreation from the same modular system. It also means China could soon host space flights directly off its eastern coastline, turning tourism into a global attraction for the country's booming aerospace industry. While SpaceX and Blue Origin battle for global dominance, CAS Space is crafting its own ecosystem integrating reusable rockets, maritime operations, and human spaceflight technology. It's not copying the West. It's engineering a parallel path that leverages China's vast coastline, lower manufacturing costs, and government-supported innovation clusters. By 2028, we could see China not only launching satellites and cargo from the sea, but also tourists, floating in zero gravity above Earth's blue horizon, launched from the ocean itself. That's a vision that could redefine global access to space, merging science, adventure, and technology into one astonishing new chapter for humankind. CAS Space is doing what few thought possible, combining reusable rockets, maritime launch systems, and civilian space tourism into one bold roadmap. The question, why is China launching so many rockets from the sea now, has a clear answer. It's faster, safer, cheaper, and far more scalable. This is an imitation, it's innovation with Chinese characteristics. With the upcoming Connecticut 2 launch and its fleet of sea-based missions, CAS Space could soon stand beside SpaceX and NASA as an equal player in the new space age. Because the future of space exploration might not belong to who flies highest, but to who launches smartest. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.